Current STS guidelines support concomitant management of atrial fibrillation in patients undergoing cardiac surgery. To assess the outcomes and real-world adoption of this practice, the authors analyze data of patients 65 years and older with atrial fibrillation who underwent isolated coronary artery bypass grafting between 2018 and 2020. From the U.S. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Inpatient Claims Database, a total of 19,524 patients were identified. Patients were stratified into three groups based on the treatment for atrial fibrillation, namely left atrial appendage obliteration alone, surgical ablation plus left atrial appendage obliteration, or no atrial fibrillation treatment. In the overall cohort, the majority of patients received no atrial fibrillation treatment. However, when grouped according to atrial fibrillation type, two-thirds of the patients with persistent atrial fibrillation received concomitant treatment. Patients who received combined surgical ablation and left atrial appendage obliteration had lower unadjusted all-cause mortality and higher event-free survival rates up to three years compared with the other two groups. Doubly robust risk assessment with inverse probability of treatment weighting and multivariable time-to-event analysis was used to balance the cohorts based on patient characteristics that may have affected survival risks. Risk-adjusted longitudinal stroke was lower with both concomitant left atrial appendage obliteration alone and surgical ablation plus left atrial appendage obliteration compared with no treatment. Additionally, this adjustment further underscored the benefits of both longitudinal and event-free survival conferred by a concomitant surgical ablation plus left atrial appendage obliteration up to three years post-procedure. This study corroborates societal guidelines that patients with atrial fibrillation who are undergoing first-time cardiac surgery, including isolated coronary artery bypass grafting, should receive concomitant treatment.